Is ready to have a maybe pizza or but the long kiwi, but maybe coffee only. Ah, I'm in the rinnek actually. So many nice, beautiful flower shop. Okay. I feel like I want to have a coffee only. Mm, so long queue for pizza. Jin dobre. Good afternoon, everybody. Just another day in Poznan, Poland. Yes, I just finished uh, at school today. Actually, I decided to stop in the one traditional market. It's not in Rinnek Yesitski, but in a different Rinnek. Uh, that's a Plachwe Kopolski. And I just bought a coffee. I plan to buy a pizza, but the lady in the pizza shop said it's gonna take me around um, 20 minutes for a pizza. Maybe I will buy pizza later in a different place. But yes, it's uh, 4 p.m. But the market uh, still open here. I'll show you how it is in the Plaj Wolnos, uh, in the Plaj Wiel Kopolski, actually, <laughs> next to the um, Stary Rinek. Just this Pajernika or October, there are so many, so many pumpkin, like this one. So cute, look at this pumpkin decoration. Aha, you see? <laughs> I really like going to the traditional market just for the sightseeing. And look at this. Nice. And so many, so many fresh products. Because it's already late afternoon, some of the shop is already closed, but some of the shop still open just like this <sighs> dobra okay let's go there sit and enjoy my coffee and one thing that i see is that you know whenever i walk here i always feel like i'm in bali you know after being at school and then i'm going to the traditional market buying something i would like to open my bag i will show you one thing that touched my heart this afternoon Jen now Cecela happy teachers day you know when I arrived at school today one of my students came to me Kajper Jen Kuye he approached me and saying that to yes Dlapani I was just like Suham yes to yes Dlapani Chocolada Dlapani tak uh, Jen now Cecela ah and then I, I I asked is it a teacher's day today yes it's teacher's day oh my goodness it's so sweet you know so honored that I feel like you know I don't know how how to uh, explain my grateful I came here six months ago I used to work uh, as a teacher in Bali for about 10 years and now I'm at school again one thing that I learned is about respect that when I used to live in Bali 10 years being a teacher you know during a teacher's day in Indonesia during or whatever it is the celebration nobody even you know say happy teacher's day or something like that or even I don't expect about the present or chocolate or flowers nope I understand but here one thing that make me surprised is that you know I'm not Polish I don't speak Polish very well but the way how they treat me how they respect me at school is just like amazing and then I said um why uh, you know I'm just like you know helping you at school no 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 pani pani yes tes moya now chechela and then I was just like a bursting you know <laughs> crying I feel like really it, here the lesson learned actually about respect no matter who you are where you are in poland that i see that they really appreciate you they really respect you so if the people said that ah be careful in poland police people are racist i didn't experience that at school they respect you as a teacher that's the thing so I am in a Plajwell Kopelski. Actually, this area, sitting area, that over there is the market. And look in front of me is Indian restaurant. 
so in Poznan actually there are so many Asian restaurants Indian, Vietnamese, Japanese or Thai restaurant one thing is that you know as migrant I'm immigrant here actually my husband brought me here if not my husband brought me here probably I will not living in Poland but the thing is that like me now I'm at school it's possible to be uh, you know involved in the school again if you have a legal permit if you have a qualification and you are certified teacher it is possible why not the thing is that as you are immigrant here respect the rules and people will respect to you what I experienced last time when I was in <laughs> Hamburg right like you know there are also in Germany there are lots of migrants but the thing is that what I see especially in the train there are migrants that don't really follow the rules you know that's why I feel like that's too much in Germany and I feel like mm, maybe I don't want to live in Germany but here I just really hope and believe like keep Poland Polish whoever coming to Poland has to follow the rules stay legal you know everybody will respect you that's the thing just if you are saying that police people racist I think that it depends on how you look but the way if you know people want to protect their country or something like that I agree that you you definitely has to protect your country Poland keep Poland Polish that's the market over there here is the apartment and office building I guess and look at this this one is one of the historical building the red brick one looks like a castle <laughs> and then this one i think that one is ah that's the starry Rinek, the church ah so this one is actually Mieski muri obrone piece of history that still left at school today I spoke with the history uh, teacher he's very brilliant uh, teacher <laughs> so we discuss and everything he told me about uh, his um, fear about how is Poland and everything in the future because of you know <laughs> the current political situation that is so many migrants that Poland take uh, you know there he just worried about how it is and i think like you know when i'm in poland i feel like i'm in poland i feel like polish people is here because you have a strong family uh, values and a strong community and then i do believe poland uh, you know can keep polish here i mean with the rules with the everything uh, strict rules you have to keep it it's one of the reason actually why Damian uh, doesn't want me to go to Paris for two weeks because he said that you know probably I will be <laughs> shocked or not happy when I'm in Paris because once when I was in Hamburg um, to be honest with you I'm not that really happy you know, this morning I would like to share you about my experience uh, when I'm, I was on the way to uh, school I was in the tram station and waiting for the tram and I met uh, one guy a walking uh, I think that middle-aged guy walking with the plastic bag approached me and saying I was just like oh my god Janus <laughs> so yeah he begged for money and asking for the beer and then in short i ask him with my broken police and lachego you know why why are you asking for money you are police right your government provide you with the many things with the opportunity yes here why you become beggar and homeless in short actually he explained to me that he used to you know have a family this is a very sad story you know like when I wait and listen to him because he speak a very good English I was surprised you know you speak a very good English you're supposed to be someone and he said yes 
he actually used to have a family and then he used to work firma in company and then he has a family and he has to travel and then one thing that happened is that his wife cheating him and then he divorced and then the thing is that what makes him to be a beggar and homeless is just because of he feel worthless and then he said to me what's the point i work my family left me and i asked may i ask you what's what's the problem yeah and he said that his wife cheating because he always work work and work and left home you know and then i straight forward thinking about my husband damian you know my husband damian i said my husband damian also you know work and travel sometimes and the thing is that because we agree about what he's doing and for us marriage is you know like understanding about both of us but about cheating no it's no chance yeah and then he explained that because his wife cheat on him and then he got divorced and then the wife and the children actually with the you know new dad and the thing is that he feel worthless that's why he decided to be a beggar and becoming a homeless and I ask, how about the stress Mieska? Stress Mieska probably will catch you. Yeah, he said that many times and put him in rehabilitation or something like that. But again, what's the point that I have a home? But, you know, nobody valued me. I said, no, there must be a second chance. I said like that. And then I give him 50 swote. <laughs> my coffee money to him I said this is a 50 suote actually my daily coffee money from my husband I give it to you I don't want to see you again whenever I wait here in the tram station please buy yourself food or whatever you want beer or something like that just think you have to remember my face remember my skin right I'm here because of my husband but we are here we work hard and Poland now is not like 30 years ago where there were no opportunities there are lots of opportunities and take the second chance to be a better person I said like that and he said nye, 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 pani, nye. no I want you to be a better person you know look at me <laughs> I'm Balinese Asian. I left my home country. My dad provided me so many things, land and everything, but I left. I follow my husband because I love my husband. I said like that. I know that you have a bad experience about marriage, but there must be a second chance to be a better person. He's quiet. The tram to go to the school already arrived. And then I said, have a good day. Me we go dunia pana I said like that actually today there are so many surprising stories I learned homeless or beggar here in Poznan there are some stories behind why people becoming a beggar it's not always you know they didn't have a money or something like that there are some interesting story i remember that damian and i also has used to have a one police friend i would like to share the story because he was suicide in philippine he was a very talented photographer you know drone pilot and he decided to suicide because of the mental health and also feeling not respected <sighs> so I'm sharing you the story that this morning I've got so many things I keep walking and walking actually I'm close by the Stari Rinek or oh, Old Market Square I'll show you how it is look at the design of the building 
This is what I believe of the strong values of Poland's Catholic Church. Strong family values. I just hope that keep Poland Polish. I'm saying like this, you know, when you want to come to Bali, you expect that you will see a temple, you know, uh, there and then a beautiful culture or something like that. And when I come to Poland, I also expect something like, you know, seeing a beautiful churches and feeling, you know, like you are surrounded by the strong Polish community. So what i do hope i'm talking like this because you know i and some of the teachers today at school we talk a lot about what they worried in general and what i feel you know because mostly they are thinking like they they just worried about uh poland they hope that it's not gonna be sinking like uh <laughs> western europe they said to me this morning so yeah we open for discussion you know just like last time when i was in berlin or munich or in hamburg one question that i asked to my husband Kohanye, where are the germans in germany <laughs> i feel like it's too much here that was a uh, starry rinek <laughs> this one is the museum narodove and here is the path little park like i told you this city is clean right and so enjoyable and here is the large Wolnoschi it's beautiful mountain <laughs> yeah I'm in the area of the large Wolnoschi here it's very cold already I need to go home after this in short I'm just sharing my uh, personal thought I think that some of you probably doesn't like what I'm saying but this is again everybody has their own opinion and then this is just like my personal opinion i know that 30 years ago or 20 years ago probably poland was not like this you know even i know that uh, one of my husband uh, friend <laughs> actually saying like he used to be a very you know struggle living in poland and then has to move out i understand and then uh, no jobs as history you know it's hard but i believe like it's getting better and better currently and i do hope like still uh you know getting improved into better and better saying like this because my husband also used to go travel to australia you know uh expanding business travel agent business in australia because so many also polish people in australia Polatsen, Australia and I think that you know in many continents because due to uh, history you know many people migrate even my husband also but now he's coming back I experience like uh, especially uh, Bali Island Indonesia my homeland you know like 75% of the business and everything in Bali owned by the foreigners and then Balinese uh, itself um, struggling actually but I can say that even Balinese like me uh, and any other Balinese it's uh, difficult to buy land in Bali because it's crazy expensive and I do hope that you know whatever happened in worldwide and now I live in Poland and I just hope like and all the best here. I think that's all my video today guys. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye!